today we are going to take a look at the interview questions that are related to the C programming language. These are the common questions that are asked in interviews that um, require C programming language as a skill. So let's diverge into it. First question is, who is the founder of C language? So its answer is Dennis Ritchie. C language was founded by Dennis Ritchie in AT and T Bist Laboratory. Next question: What is the use of header files in C programming? Okay, so the answer is header files are also known as library files. They contain two things. First is the definitions. And second is the prototypes of the functions that are being used in a program. Each header file contains a set of functions. They are included using the preprocessor directories in the C programming language, that is hash include. For example, stdio.h is a header file that contains definition and prototype of the functions like printf and scanf so if you are familiar with coding in c language then you might know that while coding if you want to print anything then you just simply use the printf function and pass some of the arguments like string or the format uh, formatting output for printing the values of the variables but you have no idea that what is this printf function how many arguments does it take what is the definition of this printf function you simply use it and get the output on the screen so this definition and usage of the printf function is defined in the header file stdio.h that is why the very first statement in a c program is hash include stdio.h for the standard input and output in the same way, hash include maps.h is a header file that contains the definition of the functions that perform mathematical operations such as power, sine, cos, tan, etc. Next question is, what is the use of printf and scanf functions in C? The answer is, printf function is used to print the message or the values on the output screen. So basically if you just want to print anything on the output screen, you have to use the printf function. Whether it is a message to the user or any value of the variable on the screen. Scanf function is used to take input from the user. For example, here we have declared a variable a which is of integer type. Then, using the printf function, in double quotes, we have written enter value of A. Now, this message will be printed as it is on the output screen. It will prompt the user that, okay, this program wants you to enter the value for a variable called A. Then, next is the scanf statement, which will uh, be used to take the input from the user, that is whatever the user enters as the value of A will be stored in the memory location that is being preserved by the variable A using this scanf statement. Then again is a printf statement that is used to print the value of A. So here we have seen both the usages of printf function. First is to print the message and the second is to print the value of a variable on the output screen. Here, mod d is a formatting output that is used to tell the compiler that in place of here, the value of a will be inserted. Now here we can see that uh, the user will get a message, enter the value of a, Suppose the user enters 10 as a value, then A equals to 10 will be printed. Next question is, which symbol is used as a statement terminator in C? 
So semicolon is that symbol which is used as a statement terminator in C. That means if one statement is written and after its ending we have to use a semicolon otherwise there will be an error as that statement will never be terminated without the use of semicolon. Next question, what are keywords in C? So the answer is keywords already have a predefined meaning to the C component. These words which have a predefined meaning to the C compiler are known as keywords and they should not be used as variables, identifiers or constants in C. So uh, these are the words that already have some meaning with the C compiler. So they cannot be redefined for the C compiler. For example, we have keywords like for. So for is a loop. So we cannot just declare a variable like int for. That will confuse the compiler. Then we have while, main, struct, class, if, int and so on. There are around 32 keywords in C. Next question. How many looping statements are there in C? There are three types of loops in C. For loop, while loop and do while loop. For loop is used when the exact number of iterations are known. Suppose we have to print the name of five students. Then what will we do? We will execute the statement uh, that print the name of student five times. So here we exactly know that we want to execute the statement five times. In this case, we will use the for loop. Next is the while loop. It is used while the given condition is true. So this loop iterates while the given condition, the condition evaluates to true. As soon as the condition evaluates to false, this loop stops its execution. The third is the do while loop. It first executes the statements and then checks the condition. So these are the uh, three types of loops in C. Next, we have what is entry control and exit control loop in C. Entry control loop checks the condition when the control enters the loop. What? Example, while loop. So in while loop, first of all, we write the while keyword and then in parentheses, we give the condition. So that is kind of an entry condition. That is the entry point for the loop. If the control evaluates the condition and the condition evaluates to true, then only the control enters the body of the while loop. But if the condition evaluates to be false, then that loop body is not executed. So while is an entry control loop. Next we have exit control loop. Exit control loop checks the condition when the control exits the loop body. Example do while loop. As we have already discussed in the previous question, do while loop <coughs> do while loop is used to first execute some block of statements and then it checks that whether the condition is true or not. So the statements are executed and at the time of the exit of the loop body by the control, then at that point of time, it is checked that whether the condition was true or false. Next question, what is the difference between a while and do while loop in C? So first we discuss about while loop. It is an entry control loop. We already know that. Statements are not executed if the condition is false. That we also know that if the control evaluates the condition to be false, then it skips the body of the while loop. No semicolon is present at the end of the while. So uh, we write the while keyword and then within parentheses we write the condition. And then uh, the braces are optional. Uh, uh, like if there is a single statement in the loop body, then uh, the braces are not required. They are optional. But if there are multiple statements, then the braces are required. Now we have the do while loop. It is an exit control loop. That is the condition is being checked when the control. Uh, now for the do while loop, it is an exit control loop. The statements are executed once even if the condition that is given to us is false. Statements, <coughs> sorry, semicolon at the end of the while we write do 
then within braces we write the statements that need to be executed then file keywords then within parentheses we write the condition and after that we put a semicolon braces are always required whether it is a single statement body of the loop or a multiple statement body of the loop then the next question is what is the difference between the local variable and global variable in c so first we discuss the local variable the local variables are declared inside a function or a block their scope is limited to the function in which the variable is declared variable created when control enters the function block and destroyed on the exit value can be accessed by statements inside the function block only stored in stack global variables global variables are declared outside of a function or a block scope is within the whole program that is uh, in the program in which the global variables are created so they can be accessed anywhere within that program life of a variable exists until the program is executing the value can be accessed by any statement of the program and the compiler decides the storage location of the global variables <coughs> next statement is state the usage of increment and decrement operator in c so both the increment and decrement operators are the unary operators that is they operate on single value or operand they only need one operand to operate they used to either increase or decrease the value by one so if you are using increment operator it will increase the value by one and if you are using a decrement operator it will decrease the value by one it can be used either in the prefix form or the postfix form here we have taken an example first we have declared a variable a of integer type and assigned 10 as its value so value of a becomes 10 now in another variable b which is again of integer type we have stored plus plus a here plus plus is the increment operator and is in the prefix form means it is written before the value on which it acts here the value on which this increment operator acts is a and since it is written before a so it is a prefix increment operator now the value of b will evaluate to be plus plus and 10 which is the value of a so it will be 11 here the value of a will also gets updated and it becomes 11 in the next statement int c is another variable and b++ here b is the value and plus plus is the increment operator since it is used after the value so it is a postfix increment operator now the value of c will be evaluated to be 11 which is the value of b++ that is <coughs> firstly 11 will be stored in 